What is going on, guys? Welcome back to The Crust. Um, we are cracking on, and the game just decided to drop down to like zero FPS there for a second. But uh, yeah, I've, um, I've been having a look and doing a bit of research in between episodes. Also, a couple of you guys have said, um, yes, there's definitely a problem with the game with the, uh, with the good old FPS. Seems like as you get into later game, more stuff's going on and stuff like that. Frame rate drops down to next to well, down to it's playable, but um, yeah, it drops FPS. Apparently, uh, having a lot of hauling drones at idle as well also um, it causes some issues as well. So um, if we've got a couple idle, we need to uh, we need to switch them out. But uh, for the most part, it looks like modular frames are almost done. I've been having to look in between episodes as well at the stages over here. Um, we're on stage, uh, pretty much stage five. So once we've completed this stage, I think it's um, the final, uh, one of the final stages. Let me just double check because I haven't actually looked uh, in between episodes which stage we're 100% on because I haven't really looked that much. Uh, let me just find it here. I've got a thing open on my phone which should tell me which stage we're on. That one there. So, uh, the stage with, I think we're on stage, I think we're on this stage, aren't we? Yeah, so, yeah, nano tubes, yeah, okay, so yeah, we've got one more stage after this one, where it requires stuff in here, um, but what we are going to need, though, uh, for the next stage, so we're going to start prepping it and making sure we're actually making those particular products, oop, and I accidentally pressed the wrong button there, um, right, let me just, minimize that as well because we're not going to need it um we're going to need some stuff from down here um so we're going to have to get some bits and pieces uh operating and working um and one of them happens to be actually we've got enough <laughs> i'm just looking here just to see what we need uh we need these guys we need micro uh, processors for it we've actually got enough sitting in this container for it so that that's a good tick um another one we're gonna need is these guys over here uh which we have nowhere near enough of these guys we need over like three thousand of these guys so yeah they're gonna be a, a problem um we're gonna need more of these guys we've got 500 of them we're gonna need three thousand of them so i think uh well right now we're we're producing them uh with what we've got that's good but uh yeah we we really need to turn on this production and get this production working again so that means i need this productions uh i need you guys um all going at like full tilt so uh what we're gonna do today is we're gonna try and get things set up and ready for um for the next set so obviously we're gonna be using a lot more of this uh, these guys, we're not going to need many more of them, but um, it'll be nice just to have a nice backfill of uh, black concrete. Um, so some of these guys can probably get shut down. Probably these two guys can get shut down. We don't really need them as much, which means you should get a little bit of a backlog of uh, silicon, which is okay. Um, obviously, yeah, it'll be nice to have it, but um, yeah, we've got we can get a backlog of silicon, which means. Uh, up here is starting to get filled up as well now, so silicon is not going to be that much of an issue, I don't think, going forward. Um, this guy needs smart concrete to get fixed. Looks like we've got... Uh, right, let me just drop that there. At least then that there can get that repaired and then that there can uh, start producing more silicon for us uh which should keep us going it's not enough power to run you for some strange reason i'm guessing you just got fixed um but yeah what we need to do is we need to kick off production down here um these guys we've got plenty of so that's fine um how many okay we've got plenty of those right i'm i'm gonna need to start this up so right i think what we're gonna have to do is i'm gonna turn off these guys just so we don't push anything into these guys we're just gonna purely power those let's get that going get these guys out onto the belts and everything going here um 
really what I want to see is the silicon moving down here. Start filling up all of this. Because I'm going to have... I need all of these guys powered on for what the next stage is going to be. We're going to need loads of these guys. So instead of having these two on max, we're going to have these guys on max. So hopefully these three can produce enough of these guys. We've got plenty of titanium. I say plenty. Probably not enough. Um, but if I have to, I can always put another one of these machines in here. There's enough room for it. Uh, we've got enough um steel for it just um so yeah we might need some more uh some more steel to be produced but that's another thing when we come across it we'll come across it and it looks like this is almost empty which is not good but yeah as long as we can get like these guys start to run and obviously we'll get this production uh turned up um silicon up here is starting to backlog itself anyway which is good it means we're definitely producing silicon like a bad habit it's just obviously a shame we're still running this we're also still running these guys at full whack because uh we're still in the process of trying to get this uh full or at least trying to get this container full um we've got we've got a bit uh, we've got plenty of money as well. Actually, while I'm rambling, let's actually um, let's buy some modular frames because they're on the market. The price is not so bad. Let's buy uh, a large cargo pod of 150, uh, which I can afford. Uh, can I buy two? Yeah, I can buy two. Right, there we go. There's two bought. But there should be that getting moved a little bit so 150 500 uh 5 there's about 700 there we'll have those guys will be busy just moving those it shouldn't take them that long to empty those out either to be fair how's this going going through it regular let's get moved at reasonable rates and go up there's everything loaded there this is almost ready to go and then once this is once we've got all of these sent off we need to work on nanotubes for a little bit longer because uh, we're going to need some nanotubes uh, let's check out our fuel production how's fuel going we've got like 700 of it so we're not doing so bad nothing's getting backed up down here which is good we've also got Got a lot of um, regular standing back up in here, though. I think it's just because of how quick we're pumping it down here, but then these guys aren't doing enough. But we'll leave them the way it is. One of you guys also said moving these guys upstairs is probably a, a great idea. Yeah. Um, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to move those upstairs. It looks like these guys are out. These guys are now full. I want to start, uh, you know what, I'm going to start production. I'm going to start production just so then we can start building the backlog of these. Just while we wait for the next stage. Obviously then, the more we've got for the next stage, the better. Um, so really, if as long as I get this one done, like say by about like here, just a little bit less than a quarter to go, um, then that's fine. Because the last stage is going to be really easy. The only thing I need to make sure is we've got the, uh, the the right colonists, which I think we need. Um, we need three level three engineers. So I think I've got a, he's a quite a high level engineer. Um, he is level seven. So I've got one level seven level seven a level seven and we also need one level five scientist which i don't think i have
I don't have any level 5 scientists, so I think what we need to look at as well is... Um, eh, there's currently no scientists available to be bought, so I don't think I have any... Nope, I've, I've got a level 7 scientist, so that, that's fine. Okay, as long as I know I've got one level 7 scientist, I'm, I'm quite happy. That means we've got enough for the last contract. So the last contract um, requires a couple of a couple of something else, and um, yeah, we're gonna need these plates going here as well. But these plates literally are gonna be uh, a thing as well. So we need we're gonna need loads of these plates. So um, these guys are gonna be put onto max. Those two are gonna be put onto max. Yeah, okay, we've got a lot to go for, so... Right, okay, I'm going to have to dump uh, all of those guys on the ground, so hopefully... What I'm going to do is I'm just going to say, um, do not place those guys in for, the, for now. So, hopefully that they'll get that going. I really need these guys to be producing. We've got the rare earth elements, I know that much. It's just literally... We're going to be working these guys down to the bone. Also, these guys over here use rare earth. No, no, these guys use rare earth. So I think what we might have to do is we might have to use some of the uh, some of these guys upstairs. Just because I think that this was a great place for it. It's just we've got a lot of other stuff going on actually, and that's decreasing, and it's not not putting enough in. So, uh, how much money do I have? I've got a bit. Yeah, that there should hopefully empty that out into that a lot faster. Hopefully, is what I'm hoping. Silicon's backing up here. It's, uh, that means I'm getting enough silicon going into these two guys. Getting enough silicon going into these guys. Silicon's running down here. Keeping these guys somewhat afloat. Not these end ones, though. That's fine, we're going to shut two of them off soon anyway. We're almost done with these. Almost done. Once these guys are done, then yeah, that'll be great. Alright, we just really need... I really need to turn these guys on. I want them to get full first though. I want the belts to be full. Before I start turning it on, full whack. How is up here going? Up here is backing up, which is great. You guys, I need some more. I need some more of this. So I'm just going to have to dump that. These guys don't really use a lot. Not yet. But uh, yeah, I'm going to need these guys turned on full full throttle. Everything's starting to back up, which is where I want it to be. But Just taking a while to produce these guys. These guys are going full whack. The belts are full. These guys are full. How's aluminium going? Everything's going full whack, so... Right. All these guys, but these guys are on. I don't really need these two on at the moment, so that's good. I don't, I don't think I actually need any of these microprocessors right now. Like, right now, I just... I'm trying to get the productions back up and running. So we can actually, um, we can actually do bits and pieces. Um, we're not that far off of those, so yeah, we'll, uh, we're also very close to the nanotubes as well, so. As long as I know that we've got everything prepped for, like, the last one. The last one's only going to take, like, two minutes for us to, to pack up and send out, so that's a good thing. The only other thing is, really, what I do need, though, is because I know what resources we're going to need for the next one i'm going to need to set up another production chain but where to put it that is the main question i might have to dig out some of this area here and actually put it here it just means that obviously it's going to be using some of these materials let's actually have a look um 
I think it's the high uh, thingy ones. Yeah, okay, so what we're going to need is... Yeah, we're going to need to start assembling the control units. So this takes these guys. We don't need that many of them, though, but it's going to need at least a two tier production chain setup. So we're going to need at least control units, uh, modular terminals, and microprocessors. It's not going to need that many of them, though, but I think on the market, though, they are expensive. Yeah, they are expensive. Like very, very expensive. The only thing is though, <laughs> like, like the like the low on price, the eighteen thousand each. We're gonna need a total of one hundred and fifty three of them, roughly. Research complete. Research completed. Cool. Oh, yay! Cargo bay capacity. Nice. Wasting science points. Try not to waste any science points, shall we? Let's try and get. Our last and final research researched. Um, do that one. I want to be good for now. Yeah, so really what I want to do is I want to set up two of these high-tech facilities. Possibly... Or what does it require? Uh, the two high-techs cost uh, modular those and those. It requires that one that one and that one so uh you know what i've got like loads of space here to take them out i'm just trying to figure like the best route out because obviously this one can just come out down here come under here up over there and then into into the loop and i want at least i want two of these guys up and running but really what i want uh, well actually how much did they cost also to build they cost a lot to build too. So yeah, what are we doing? Well, they also push out over to the left. So what I'm thinking of doing is setting up a big container. Uh, to be honest with you, probably the best place to do is to put them here. So we just do one there like that. Uh, one there like that, and then one there. But you know what? What we'll do is we'll start getting this area mined out. And then we'll probably start putting it in here anyway, so. Just open up this up a little bit. Get things opened up so we can actually figure out what we're doing. I don't think I've got any mining bots on duty. I don't. Two of you guys can go in. Guess what I'm going to do though is I'm just going to get rid of some of these uh, thingy bots just because they're busy doing things but they're not doing too much. I'm trying to get some more fuel uh, packed up so we can actually sell it. We've got more landing pads now so we can make more money quickly. Well, at least sell stuff quicker. All right, looks like these guys here are starting to back up now. So these two guys are about... As soon as this backs all the way up, back up to the uh, main thing, I'm going to turn this on. And then that there should be able to keep this flowing with uh, with silicon. We are producing them, though. Which is good. So it doesn't, looks like we're not really... I haven't got a black log of them. So, yeah, we can't really sell any right now, so... Definitely good getting these uh, like these guys over and I've got enough of these guys, so I don't need to worry about that, which is great. Just getting these guys finished off. As soon as these guys finish off, we're good. Uh, the only thing is, though, we're starting to run low on titanium plates, which is a problem. But that there should go up once, once we take these guys off of our uh, max. Looking's almost ready. Rare Earths are starting to run low as well. I've just realised. Right, so I think what we'll do is I'm just going to shut that off. And I'm just going to open up this guy. To start pumping in some Rare Earths. 
obviously we're going to kick these guys off here so we're going to need as much rare earth as i can probably get blown into here so it's fine all right silicon's almost there we'll just let that finish off means this here should be getting back up yeah that is slowly backing up from up here we're gonna need this guy these guys put onto full full whack here as well so okay i'm quite happy that that is ready to go so let's turn you guys on right you start producing these guys like a bad habit please I know one thing what's definitely going to get turned up to full whack is these guys, so we're going to need a lot of them, so might as well start producing them now get them going everything down here seems to be working relatively well you know what, just to speed this up get a couple more mining bots down there research, complete. research completed, cool we've got the rover upgrade advanced radar Cool. We're getting close to completing all of that as well. I think that just flicked on saying there was no research to be done, but plenty of research to be done. These are going to take a while to fill out anyway, so. Uh, drone upgrade battery? Uh, I guess we'll do that next. Looks like I've already put a little bit of uh, work into that already. Yeah, so these guys here should be working on full. Uh, full speed, which hopefully should get loads of these guys being made. Obviously, the rare earths are, are piling in, which is great. Because these guys are actually running low on rare earths anyway, so we've got plenty of them. Looks like the yeah, that belt's full. It's just these guys here which need them, so that is fine. Uh, obviously, as this fills up, we've got a little bit of a buffer here, but uh, these guys haven't really got a lot in them anyway. This must be rare earths are actually up here. We've got like 6,000 of them, so that there is definitely starting to run low. Fine. But yeah, I think definitely maybe putting some of the uh, processing upstairs is a great idea. A couple of you guys have mentioned saying that's a good idea as well, so that's probably what we'll do. Iron. Yeah, that could probably be uh, probably be fixed here soon. These guys to produce more. How was that noise? Not clue. Uh, yeah, we're almost done on these. We are almost done on the nanotubes as well. I think actually, right now we're behind the nanotubes than we are on uh, frames. Yeah, actually, no, they're both about the same actually. They're both at about the same level. So really, and then just need to shut down modular frame production. I don't really mind it now. Well, not right now, but yeah, you guys know what I mean. Uh, nanotubes will be a nice uh, influx as well at some point. Definitely think I need to maybe, probably maybe it's the best thing to do, but maybe be able to uh, do processing up here, then just send be honest with you, I really want them downstairs though. I want these guys downstairs. I really want to process this upstairs. Uh, to be honest with you, I want to do it both. The only thing is though, it's then getting the slag down here into making smart concrete. I think that's all we're using slag for um, is really is just absolutely metrically making smart concrete. I'm not really getting... Oh, well, these guys are still actually using quite a lot just to build so yeah I've got like loads of these guys which are like level 7 so like, that's that's fine but yeah um, I think we'll end up taking these guys off of these uh, start sticking them on nanotubes for a little bit just because I need more nanotubes like we've got the we've got the carbon fiber now which is nice then I think obviously that maybe it's getting some of these guys up here ready. Now obviously that's going to take a pressure off of the um, 
of the uh, titanium plate uh, manufacturing uh, for a bit. Like right now, yeah, we're out of titanium plates. Because these guys are running at full whack. Can't upgrade them anymore. And uh, yeah, they're making as many plates as they possibly can. It's just that these guys are eating them all like crazy. This guy's full though. So at least I've got one making them. So yeah, I think uh, I think we need to start selling some fuel. Yeah, okay, that, that one's full. Okay, we've got at least a thousand fuel. Right, okay, let's, let's try and sell some. I'm gonna do a couple of contracts. Uh, do some fuel runs. Oh, that's actually a really good contract. The only thing is though, I need, uh, well, to be honest with you, I need them. I really, I, I need them. We're going to need them for like the next, uh, the next one. So if we actually come down here, they are feeding these guys, which are going to be running full whack. <sighs> but the thing is, it makes, it makes nice to have money though. They got almost like 2000. Uh, You know what, that's actually a really good price. Let's do that one. With seven days to do it in. Yeah, that's fine. Try our new landing pad, shall we? Yeah, standard cargo pod. What I'll do is I'll put all of them back into like uh, in, back into bots as well, just so we can. Uh, there. Just so we can load those up quickly enough. And what I'll do is I'll just knock all those guys back because I don't really need to mine that much. Let's right, see if we can sell some more while we're here. We may as well see if there's another good price for it. Love to, but no. Oh, I can sell a thousand slag for like uh, 60 of those. Oh, yeah, we're doing that. Thousand slag. Yeah, I've got like 22,000 of it. So it gives me some good science points. It's also an infinite contract as well. So Great. that's getting done. Um, it's on infinite, so I can do that whenever I want. I won't do it now, though. Uh, any way of getting rid of slag, <laughs> like honestly, is uh, I'm all about it. You you want my slag? You can have it. As far as I care. I'm not really seeing any good prices for fuel either right now. Not a lot of people are wanting it. I don't think. Yeah, you want the moon though. Obviously, just trying to find yeah, Moon again. Moon. Three hundred of it. Twenty-five days to do it in. Sure. I will load you first. This that gets rid of a little bit of fuel. It gives us a little bit of money back. Not a huge amount of money back, but it, it helps. Helping us get to that finish line. All we need to do now is get to that finish line. Once we get to the finish line, we're, we're quite good, actually. Next next one's uh, going to be the, the hardest one out of all of them. Well, not really out of all of them, but... Got to set up a couple of new production. Well, got to set up one more production chain. So let's see. Uh, should get uh, the guys ordered in, which I've just done. Which means all these guys should now be getting loaded quite rapidly. It shouldn't take them that long to do that. So just make sure that all these guys are we're in. As our drones going pretty well, one drone needs to be converted. There you go. They're all converted. So they're all moving fuel. After that, they can run and do uh, run and do this one. Just give us a little bit of extra 
tight air, a little bit of extra social science points, so all good. How oh, is up here going? I think that's dropped a bit actually. Down here seems to be working fine now. Obviously we're using silicon down here too, so this here should start to back up and then we should get a little bit of supply in here, but Yeah. A lot of things need to be moved. How close are we to getting this done? Obviously with the amount of these guys here, none of our drones are going to be sat here idle, which is great. When you guys said just get the bigger, get the bigger containers, but uh, no. There's a reason behind it. Smaller containers means I make more money in the long run. Like if I'm sat here selling loads of stuff and um, and we're um, what was I saying? We're sat here selling loads of stuff. Like them just sitting here waiting for the next drop trip to come in. At least then they've got more pants to land to fill up, which means. Yes, obviously it uses resources and stuff, but... We should be fine. Obviously, I am actually literally spending the money what we probably just earned on selling slag. That's fine. I'll do. Hundred and fifty per container. If I can grab it, I will. I'll do. Obviously send a thousand of this is not gonna be really massive dent, but gets me a little bit of extra science points also keeps our bots busy there's the rest of it right, there we go right, there's going to be that contract fulfilled still got plenty of cash in the bank these guys can start to fill back up a bit Nothing's backing up here, which is great. Everything seems to be flowing into this guy relatively quick enough. I think it's nearly about time we start get ready to start bringing in some more regolith and stuff. Right, let's actually just come up here. I can't remember why we moved the, why we moved this miner to. What did I need? Titanium. Yeah, now I'm going to move it back over here to silicon. Fill one of these guys up, I think. Uh, we've got zero titanium, you've got iron and the other. I think what I'll do is I'll start emptying out this one, and then we'll fill this one up full of that, and then I think we need to get silicon back. So, um, yeah, once we've emptied this one, we'll uh, empty out this one next, I think. One's got like 7,000 left in it, so. Good for a little while. Completed. That's cool. Means two of it's now going into this. And hopefully this one will get finished soon ish. These two guys are almost done. Right, I guess what I'll do is I'll start, maybe start planning out this over here. Obviously, I'm going to have to build conveyors and stuff like that for them. But uh, maybe just start planning a few bits out. It's not going to harm anybody because I'm going to have to put these guys in anyway. So, at least that power and anything. Yeah, it's power on that. So, might need to move these lines. 
potentially. Uh, so I'm thinking about maybe he's putting... Well, what we can do is we can always put a big container in here. Uh, now, just so then we've got it. Uh, probably the big container can go there. Not sure how much... No, we should have most of the resources for that. So we'll, we'll get that built at least. Right, house. I hope there's that contract completed, which means we get 60 science points. It's not really a huge amount, but every little helps. Okay, so I need at least five, uh, 50 more. Just a little, well, 46 more, roughly. And there's just the nano tubes I need to put into a little bit more of a production. I'm going to need more. Which should then, does that take any hit off of my silicon though? No. It's going to put a hit on the silicon because we're going to be making up here. But then I can probably turn off some of these guys down here actually. So it's going to be a little bit less hit to the silicon. Once 50 more of these have been made. I think what we'll do is we'll just let these guys finish off the 50. And then we'll get uh, these guys doing the last bit of nanotubes. Um, and then once that's done, uh, obviously I'll just be work up a little bit of uh, backlog for my concrete. Uh, probably turn some of these guys off. Probably these two guys will be turned off. Yeah, right now it's literally just titanium plates for this. Honestly. What a nightmare. But then obviously all the titanium is going to go from here. <laughs> over here. So, yeah. I think definitely getting the last of this probably pump downstairs might be a good idea as well. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open up this. And then force... Uh, sorry, then force that downstairs as well. And then both of these are, should be emptying. Well, uh, actually, no, let's, let's not do that. Let's not force that down there as well. Let's, uh, let's let this go down first. Once this is emptied, we'll then turn on that and we'll, uh, we'll start bringing in some more stuff from elsewhere. And uh, there should then get some aluminium into the system and some iron back into the system. Bring up our stockpiles again. It's not going to take long to go through that, to be honest with you. Once that's pumped downstairs, the rest of it should start to go down quite quick. Right. Um, but yeah, so all this is now uh, dug out. So really, I don't need you guys. You guys go do something else. For a bit. Really, what you just could do is you could actually probably do high priority on that. To try and get these guys filled. So hopefully some high priority on that will get my drones to go bring material from upstairs downstairs. Hopefully. It should be this. Hopefully they should start bringing that down in quite big waves actually. I just want to see how much this guy loads up with. Usually when they've... Uh, five. So they can only carry five at a time. Ah, uh, well. Okay, oxygen is okay. Water's okay. Everything's at 100%. I just saw a minus there on O2 and I was just like... Ugh. That's fine. Everything in here seems to be quite good. Yeah, I think we're, we're we're producing stuff. We're really producing stuff. Like like look at that. Like only like thirty to go. Thirty to go, and then we've got all the modular frames we need. Holy crap. This is starting to get like really, really interesting now. Like I'm starting to think we can make this. I'm hoping we can make this. We've got, we're starting to get some productions up here set uh, set up ready. I think what we'll do is we'll send the, um, 
you know, these like high, high tech resources, these guys, the control units. I think what we'll do is we'll make those guys last. We'll send those last. Hundred and fifty of them we need. And then hopefully we can just get what we need from here. What we've already getting produced. I'm just gonna put a big a big need on um aluminium. We've got a lot of it anyway, so As long as it doesn't deplete it like rapidly, we're fine. Because right now we're using it for fuel as well, so we can uh sell if i absolutely have to i can always turn off that production switch it elsewhere but yeah fifth like 30 to go not even that anymore just those goddamn nanotubes the nanotubes are actually taking forever now i don't think it'd be that bad switching these guys up to full whack anyway the, the silicon's starting to back up here now anyway so I just can't wait to take these guys off, um, like, like high priority. Can't wait. Actually, it looks like we're starting to back up. We are. Ha <laughs> ha. I think we're about nearly ready to start backing up in here to where we're actually going to start getting some smart concrete back up like hell yeah to me just getting the silicon down to these end units which seem to be an issue but to be honest with you I'm not, I don't really mind, because these two guys are going to get turned off relatively soon. Probably keep these guys here going all the time. But yeah, these two here are going to get turned off. Yep, we're actually starting to get stock. We're actually starting to get stock. Wow. <laughs> yeah just wow honestly that's all i have to say for that looks like these guys are starting to back up slowly which means these guys are producing what they need to produce which is great maybe we'll upgrade some of these two here so they uh they produce a little bit quicker a little bit more efficiency is actually really low on these guys i don't know why why the efficiency is so low They've always had their uh, materials, so. I really just want to get through uh, through these uh, modular frames here this episode. If we can, that's great. Got enough power to run. Oh, I think you just got repaired, that's why. So we've actually start we've actually got some sort of stockpile now to where we can actually start repairing things. <laughs> Which means what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna allow uh them to drop those resources back in there now because we're starting to get more of them. So yep, that's a good thing. Like constant flow of uh, black concrete, which is brilliant. Yeah, titanium. We're we're running really, really low on again. Yeah, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to get some more titanium. I think what I might do is I might just upgrade this to a large titanium container, like right now, just while we can. I'm going to do that. Let's do that because uh, I think that'll help a lot. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut 
that guy. I'm gonna cut this guy. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna build I'm gonna build a big one in here. Just just so then we've got a large guy in here. If I've got a large guy here, it's gonna help out a bunch. Then we will get more and more titanium coming in. We're not li literally just hanging on to uh, one little small container anymore. Yeah, it's going to cost resources and materials and stuff like that and, and some money. But it makes sense in the long run to do it. So. Set that to high priority. Obviously, it's going to take modular frames. Actually, what we'll do is, uh, no, I'm going to need that guy on high priority. So, whatever modular frames need to go into there, they need to go into there. Probably, maybe, this wasn't the best time to do this, but like, when is going to be the better time to do this? Other than like right now, when we're not really using this production as much as we need to. like we're running a full whack too. Hopefully we get some more plates built back up as well once we turn off this production. How many more do we need? Oh, oh, not many. No money at all. We need 50 more nanotubes and just a few more of these guys. And that production gets turned down to a crawl instead of running at like full speed ahead like it has been for the last... God knows how many episodes. Starting to back up. <laughs> what we're hanging around for. Modular frames. That's all the only thing we need is modular frames. Get this guy built and then at least then once this guy's built we can uh One more. And then the last few can go up. Uh, the last few of these can then go upstairs and uh, fill up that last uh, that last little bit. And then we can turn this these guys down to a crawl. Yep. There. Ooh, nope. There you go. Now, now it just needs constructing. And let me just set uh, titanium. That should fill up there nicely. Oh, and then we'll go get one more auto save there. What are we seeing this? There we go, five to go. Four. That'll be three, that'll be two. Nope, that's it. Uh, th those are the last two. I just went in. There you go, 3,000 modular frames. There we go. That is modular frames done. Now, all we need is the carbon fiber. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, this with you guys. We're just going to set you back down to normal priorities and let you guys do that. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to stick all you guys up to uh, up to max speed. Um, hopefully I've got a couple of these guys sitting down here. I have, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dump those guys. 
just so then they can go fill up what they need to fill up the, like these are almost starting to make so that's good that uh, means that i should be able to get uh, this finished off here with some plates because now we should be uh we should be making enough plates well oh, it might it might take a while <laughs> to get them uh to get the plates back up and running but uh yeah, just a few plates left, what's needed. And there's just nanotubes. Literally just pure nanotubes now. Not belonging to this guy I'll be leaving. He's only got uh, 60, like 3 to go or so. 64. No, 63, right? Yeah. Yeah, 63. To go. And then that's the nanotubes sorted. How's let's put this up to high. How's this going? Not that well, but we have been building stuff and moving stuff and this, that, and the other. But yeah, that there should now be these guys not moving as much. Like these guys should start to leave after once they're finished and go over to uh, the other machinery. I think they're still quite on these full whack anyway, so. Okay, yeah, it looks like these guys are starting to come over here as well, which means these efficiencies are starting to go up. Nanotubes are getting produced. Which means we're going to start using more silicon over here for the time being. But this here should be fine. Right means we should start be getting smart concrete coming in like an absolute bad habit as well so hopefully we should get that built here soon as well I just want these guys to stop working in here I'm not sure how long they stay in here for right, let me just have a look up here as well see how you're going 3000 left Fine. You guys got like five, five and a half thousand bit of regular in it. Plenty. These guys need to get upgraded again. Just so the process faster. Is that guy full? Mm, not quite. The belt's definitely kicking out <laughs> a lot. We'll probably actually start uh, to turn these guys off now, actually. I don't really think I need them anymore. To be honest, because like, right now we shouldn't be overproducing over here. So, well, we'll leave them on for a little bit. We've got, we've got plenty of these guys to fill up. So we'll just leave them on just to hopefully start scrapping down some of the slag. Not enough power to run module. Uh, yeah, that's because you've uh, broke down and you just got repaired. Um... Ice is going great. Fuel is getting produced. Cam 5 is getting used. Oh, it looks like, yeah, since we turned these guys on full whack. <laughs> yeah, we definitely started to use up all of the, uh, the water calls over here as well. That means these guys should have... Yep, these guys are all off of these guys down here now. These guys are just back to running slow again which is lovely which means we should get some plates here which uh, hopefully should then start to come down here uh, and you're going to be at the end of the day um, you're going to be control units and then I think I need to start um, maybe re uh, routing some of these guys out at least preparing to route them out and then start setting up the, the production chain over here. What I'll probably do is I'll probably put the conveyors and everything in, but I'll probably just put slow conveyors in for it. Obviously, like, I could probably then turn this back on as well eventually. Not right now, though. There we go. That's ready for the control units. These guys are on pretty much full whack as well, which is fine. Right. How many more nanotubes do you need? 
Not that much because uh, production is absolutely rocketing those guys. No power to run. You just got repaired, didn't you? Fine. What's actually that? What is that? Not sure. I think that used to be that. can't remember how many more I need because I've got like 2,000 in here. I think this needs... We've got that. Yes, yeah, so I've got 3,000, so I need 450 more. Three th well, I need 3,450. 3,000... I need another 1,000 more. I need another 1,450. So there you go. That guy's off. We'll go do that. Uh, we should have one of these guys over here just sitting there waiting for stuff. So we'll get you ready. You're going to be going with nanotubes here relatively soon. I just need a thousand of those being produced quite rapidly. And then we can shut down production of nanotubes and uh, just focus on this here. <laughs> Focus on getting pretty much these two guys up and running. We need a lot of these deuterium plates and we need loads of these control modules. Got enough of those guys. Probably send those guys first actually. But then obviously I'm going to need to produce these over here in the, uh, the big factory. Big two factories for these control units. Probably set up two of them, but only connect one probably for now, and then obviously, as we need it, I think you just come back online, have you? Yeah. Need another thousand nanotubes. Absolutely eating silicon right now, aren't we? We've got production set up ready for the next set, and, well... These guys just aren't producing enough looking in one go. Is this backing up yet? No. Right. Uh, how is this going? Plenty. Starting to knock that up nicely. So I think what we'll do is I'm just going to shut you down. I'm just going to shut you down. Have these two run for a little bit longer. I think what we'll do is we'll get the uh, the carbon fiber knocked out first, and then we'll uh, on well, the carbon fiber, sorry, the nano tubes. Then we'll just lay, leave these to run at normal speeds. Engine contract. What do you need? <laughs> um. Oh, uh, price is not that great for what he wants, but. Uh, no, sorry. I, I I sort of need these guys at the moment. We're, it looks like we're starting to back them up actually, which is good. Which means I can uh, I can actually do uh, this. They should tidy up what's on the floor a little bit. Uh, for silicon, oh, we're not really backing much of that up. So I'll just leave these conveyors here just in case I need to dump stuff off. Now, uh, these two are producing these guys at a slow rate, but for now, that'll do. This guy's ready, though. I'm going to need to figure out how to get that out, that out, and that out. I don't think it's going to be too bad. It's just trying to figure out how to get probably them out over here. I could probably do is I could probably start to put the conveyors in. Uh, sorry, not the conveyors, the underground conveyors, just so that I can figure out what I'm doing where. Uh, got loads of those on the conveyor right now, so I don't think I'm going to run out of those anytime soon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just stop that for a moment. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to open that up. 
get them all down. Get them all moving down here. For a moment. You're broken down. You need those, which we should have. Yeah, we've got a couple of those now in stock, which is good. Means this is keeping up. Obviously, when we start putting these guys on high priority, we're gonna gonna need a lot more. We're gonna need like three thousand of those. Three thousand four hundred of those. I think what might be wise is to do the first load of those. And then maybe buy 150 control units, if possible. Obviously, we're just going to have to sell other bits. First. Yeah, that's steadily increasing, which is fine. I think these two here are... Uh, yeah, these, these guys are always full. It's these two guys here which aren't, so... Fine. I can always deconstruct those as well if I need to. Get this conveyor empty, and then what we'll do is we'll shut down the down here again. Right, uh, anything else we need to do? Um, aluminium's coming in nicely. Got plenty of it. Yeah, there you go. Look, the plates are starting to back up now, which is awesome. Oh, and this is also built, and this is emptying out nicely. Lovely. Always seems like these two here are always running low. What I might do is to take off some of the load, is just do this. Instead. Let's do that instead. I've always seen that that works a little, little bit better. That then it's this what evens it out, not like down here. And what we'll do is we'll just tell them to... Uh, do that. And they should clean up that for me. Reasonably well. Or reasonably quickly even. And hopefully it shouldn't, these two here should be them done by that instead of this. Right, let's have a look up top. You're almost done. Okay, cool. Which means I can start bringing in some of the other ore. Uh, have we fully mined here what we were supposed to be mining? You've got a full container. No, you haven't. Right, you can continue to mine for a little bit longer than and get a full container worth. And we'll go from there. Fill that guy up first, though, I think. And then we'll uh, send him back and do some of the bits. Right. Um, Silicon, I think, obviously, we still need a lot of it, so keep these guys running with silicon looks like we're definitely keeping the silicon rolling though not really keeping things empty though these guys are obviously using a lot of it still yet again we are still filling up these guys so let them fill it's fine oh yeah place are starting to back up Oh no. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> I'm going to need some more titanium actually rapidly. I'm going to need that first, aren't I? Well, actually, we're getting titanium now, aren't we? So. Which is good. Because I, I, I need it for obviously making these guys. And. I can probably then turn off a couple of these. Eventually. Like right now, I think they're fine. I'm just going to need more titanium. A lot more titanium. 
got no silicon in it though, has it? That's research concerned. Complete. Oh, research completed. Cool. Uh, which means I'm going to need to finish off. Uh, everything in here. Oh, I need to use you, don't I? Alright, we'll wait. Right, silly question. Uh, which one are you outputting to? Yeah, you're outputting there. That's fine. Yep. That one's almost done. Okay, so I think by the time we send one of these guys back... Has he delivered that yet? Not quite. How's, um, how's my production of nanotubes going? Already got 100. Not bad. I'll probably end up buying some actually. Hopefully I'm producing enough fuel. Here yeah, I am. Cool. Get that one done. Plenty of regular in there to keep that guy going. I'm thinking this guy's going to be done here in a second. Yeah, right. Okay, we need to start sending uh, these guys now. And he's literally just filled up his tank as well, so... It should give me a little bit of aluminium, some silicon as well, which is nice. Uh, it should give me some titanium, uh, some iron, which we need, and very little slag. Very little slag. Holy crap, that's a little slag. That's good. Good, though. Really, really good. Not enough water. I'm guessing something just broke down. Bleating. Oh, did some of these guys get fixed? That's why it's a bleeding. Yeah, th some of these guys got fixed. Actually, some of these guys got built. That's what's going on here. <laughs> okay, uh, that might be a, a problem. These guys make oxygen, don't they? Yeah. So do I need more water? I might need another one of these guys in. Well, we've got the resources, so um, let's build another one. <laughs> we've got all these resources as well, so we should be fine to build that. But uh, yeah, that needs to be built. We've got enough water here to last a while, which is a good thing. We've got two tanks of it, so we're not so bad. But yeah, obviously, these guys have finally been built. I completely forgot about them, to be honest with you. So yeah, we need uh, we need more water production. Is our problem? I think the titanium, though, is going to be an issue. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll set them to not uh, not drop it back in. What I'll do is I'll drop some there. Just so hopefully then they can build this. Which then, yeah, it's very much reacting to this depleting. Um, but yeah, we, we sort of need it. So. And that there should get built now. That there should stop my uh, depleting problem. Which is the main reason why I've got two of these guys. I can react to it. But this guy here who is repairing but uh needs he needs uh <laughs> he needs some help uh, i think i'm one shot there you go <laughs> now i'm not one shot uh right okay so that means upstairs should now be uh what was i doing Upstairs should now be empty. Yes. Nope, not quite. So 
almost there. Once this guy runs out, we're going to just turn on this guy and then hopefully start pumping down some aluminium and uh, some iron. It should bolster some of the stuff. I'm just going to turn off the output on this. I want this guy to run dry. This one's going to be full of titanium and then this one's going to fill up full of uh, silicon. We're going to need a lot of it, so I'm going to send it back to the silicon mine. This is going to have silicon in it anyway, but uh, yeah, we're going to send it back. 200 there now. Okay, so that there should have been built. Yep, and you should now be producing ice at a decent rate, which means this should be now getting filled. Yeah, there you go. So those tanks got down to not even half on each. I still had like a full tank practically, but yeah, that was that was a massive drain on the system. But yeah, obviously when I build the last set of those, I'm going to have to expand this again. So we're out of walls. <laughs> we're out of walls. Whoever thought that would be a problem. I just want this to run down to zero, and then that is everything there done. Guys are just churning through it right now as well, so... 11 left. 4, 3, 2, 1, there you go. There's everything there done. What I'm going to do is, I'm just going to turn you off. And then just gonna click on you and turn you on. And then the should you should see a, a second gap here, I think. Maybe it's not. It's just gonna continuously uh, push stuff down here, so. That's fine though. We're we're mining that up quite rapidly. This guy's turned off, so he's just going to fill up full of regolith. Um, I'm just uh, this guy's also on his way back, which is lovely. Yeah, so I just need the uh, the 3,450 of uh, nanotubes now. Okay, so what I'll do is I'm just going to cancel your thing, and I'm just going to RTB you to back to base. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on you. I'm going to select. Like the transport, which is going to base, going to base, idle, idle. I think you're the idle one at the base, so you can fill with the remaining, which will be the last of those nanotubes, and uh, then send you. There we go. So he should now be moving into from here into here. And get him filled with the final selection of nanotubes. I think this is going down slowly, which is nice. Should be now, because we're... <laughs> well... <laughs> this is going up lovely, which is nice. Uh, looks like we're starting to get some plates back in. Cool. Um, we just need more titanium, really. Looks like this belt's full. Why are you? Oh yeah, because you're turned off to those two, aren't you? Fine. Hopefully you should be more should flow this way into these two now. Get them smelting. Right, which means I shouldn't really need to have as many of these guys on anymore. I think what I'll do is I'll put these back down to two. Because we're not going to need no more. With these guys getting produced rapidly. Which I should get a little bit back up with titanium actually. Now, hopefully. Wow, well, we're going to be running these guys full wax, so. Eh, no harm in it. Okay, it looks like he's return back to base so what we'll do is I'll get this guy 
I get you going as well. You can go pick up some resources. Basically, these two guys are now going to go backwards and forwards between base, so. Good. I don't think there's anything else. Looks like we've already got uh, 183 nanotubes put into our container already. But another thousand more though, which is a little bit like a <laughs> god moment. Like, really, we need uh, we need these guys done. Get this all sent downstairs as well. Is I've got titanium coming in now for a bit. Means I should get a load more um, of these guys going as well. How's food, by the way? Food is. Yeah. Food is food. We've got loads of it. Not loads of it, but we got enough of it. Oh, this guy's starting to get full already. <laughs> I like think this is now full up as well, so uh, everything down here is full. Alright, which means we should... I don't know what's happening with slag right now. I know we're going to have a reduced number of it once we've emptied these two containers, which is great. Because we did the research before, didn't we, to reduce the amount of slag we get, so that, that's perfectly fine. Oh wow, there's contracts in here for slag. Ooh, yes. You can get rid of like 2,000 slag. Infinite, infinite. Yeah, I'm going to take that contract, mate, off you. I'm also going to take your other slag contract off you. I've got infinite time to do it, so I can complete it whenever the hell I want. That's what we're going to do. We want like a thousand fuel in four days. I'm not sure what your money is though. Right, let's have a look for some contracts and then what we'll do is we'll uh we'll probably right, so you're one of you, you're the second one, right. I just wanna have a look at the fuel contracts just to see what we've got. So you want like a thousand fuel for that price. You want it in four days. I can put a thousand fuel to you in four days. That's not, a, I don't think that's going to be an issue anymore. The issue is, is anybody offering any more for fuel? This is my next question. Because there's things now I can't sell, but I can always sell fuel. Like, these guys can't really... Yeah. Can't sell these guys because I need them now. I might just have to take that guy's fuel offer. And do it in four days. For nine th uh, for nine hundred and forty four, you're offering thirty uh, three hundred fifty thousand one hundred three hundred fifty thousand one hundred. Ooh. To be honest with you, you're not really giving me much more. Oh, who was it now? Who was offering the 350,000 for the fuel? I've lost who it was. Not much less. And you want it in like 28 days. 24 days, sorry. Um, 
I'm thinking about going for her for fuel. Just because she's offering a really good price for it. And I think, yeah, her, her timeline's a little bit more. It's a little bit more nice, let's put it. Are you offering less? I think her price is just competitive. I think. Obviously, I'll sell more fuel on the other one, but I don't really want to sell more fuel. I want to sell less fuel for more money. 300. Yeah, you went into the moon, though. If you want stuff on the moon, you're just not getting it at all. Right, let's roll up to her and let's just double check to make sure she definitely wants it. At Earth. Yep. Yeah. Let's let's do that contract then. No. Not the contract I agreed on. Now who was it who wanted the fuel again? I've, I've completely lost who it was. Like right now the game is paused so I shouldn't have lost on who it was. I'm sure it was her. She was wanting like less than a thousand for like 350. Yeah, okay, so she got two contracts. So she's got... Okay, so she's got this one here for 1,255. Can I do that one? No, I don't have enough. So right, okay, so she's wanting a thousand for it for three and uh the only thing is I've got seven days to do it, so I think I can make a couple of hundred in seven days, right? Surely. Uh and then also while wow, I'm doing the contract as well, so yeah. Mm, I, I might be able to do that one. So she wants a uh, three nine eight seventy for Let's just take a screenshot just so then I've got it and then I can jump back with the forwards as needed. Right, okay, let's figure out all we'll those. I'll figure this out and then we'll end the episode. Right, okay, and um, what were you wanting for the fuel? Uh, I think it was you. So he would offer me. For slightly less fuel. He would give me like literally like ooh these tiny scales are very tight though like four days and I think I have enough for that yeah I do have enough for that one so I could do this one or could I do it in four days though I think I can right let's accept that contract and then what we're going to do is we're going to pause there. And I'm going to come back tomorrow. We're going to do that contract and uh, we'll get uh, the rest of these nanotubes sorted. So we're going to buy a bunch and uh, send a bunch off uh, to this last and final contract. Well, this this one before the next one. Um, and then hopefully we'll get a couple of things built downstairs as well, which uh, we'll do that early on. Uh, just so then we, we've got a built and then once it's built it, it's good to go type of thing and uh, then we'll start doing like the belts and stuff like that so yeah hopefully you guys have enjoyed this one if you guys have please do hit the like button if not the dislike button's right next so hit subscribe if you guys haven't already and i will see you guys all in the next one